What up, everybody? Hanging out at Dreamcatchers Fishing Supply, which is now online at dreamcatchersfishing.com. My singing's not the best, but our lure selection is. Hey. So, I'm hanging out, though, in the shop. Uh, you know, obviously been on the water a flip ton, like a freaking bunch. And I want to do a video talking about how big bass set up, how big bass hunt. And the reality is they like edges like this. Did you see that? Those were some clean edges. Listen, big bass like edges. They hunt on edges. I always tell people this. Think about how when you're watching um, Animal Planet and they're doing a special on cheetahs or leopards or lions. What's happening? Those predators are on an edge whether it be the tall grass maybe a tree line a wood line they're hunting edges and they're waiting for their prey to come down the edge where they can ambush it big bass are the same way so when i think about hunting and targeting big bass i am looking for hard edges uh, and that looks different across the country right in florida that could be a hard tule edge or down in socal that could be a hard tule edge uh, here in the mountains of Western North Carolina, maybe it's a maybe it's a trash edge, uh, maybe it's a maybe it's a giant dock, maybe maybe it's a big marina, um, you know, maybe if you're uh, around a lot of hydrilla, maybe it's a hydrilla edge, maybe you know you have a big overhang of a boathouse or something, and there's a shade line, an edge, big bass hang out on the edges. Why is that? Because edges or cover provide, uh, you know, provide cover, provide, bass are all about camouflage. They want to be camouflaged in their environment. If you ever think about even just the colors of a bass, they have a dark back and they have a pearl belly. Now, why is this? They have a dark back, so when birds see them from the top, they're camouflaged with the water and the cover. And then when predators see them from the bottom, the sky is very bright, bass have a pearl belly. Their life revolves around camouflage. Well, when they're on hard edges, whether it be a grass, you know, a hydrilla line, a tule line, or a lay down, or in the dark nooks and crannies of a dock, or maybe, you know, there's a few areas locally that have big giant cliffs with big rocks and undercut rock edges that they get on, they're camouflaged. So, you know, does the prey know they're there? I don't know, but those bass definitely get in those areas where they can ambush their camouflage. So I'm gonna roll some clips of some fish catches from the past few weeks and really you're gonna see, you're gonna notice the common theme is big bass are on the edges. They're on the edge of undercut rock in some of these videos. They're on the edge of a big boat dock. They're on the edge of lay down trees. They're on the edge of a trash mat or a trash pile. And when you understand that fish really like those edges, you got to really dial in your casting accuracy, your presentation, and boat positioning to be able to attack and most, effic most efficiently uh, execute on those angles. So check out this footage, check out the edges, understand that those bass are using those edges to ambush, they're using those edges as camouflage and as cover, and they're going from that camouflage and cover to attack their prey, in this case, big swim baits, which I always like to throw but you know you think about them whether they're chasing small shad herring whatever they're gonna be on edges now sometimes they're obviously schooling out in the middle but I'm talking about big giant bass like five plus pounders here locally in the mountains that's what I would consider a giant bass a five plus pounder so watch this footage they like edges they like lay down edges <laughs> dock edges rock edges trash mat edges so check out this video, give me your thoughts, hit those edges, send us some pictures, we want to see if this works for you, it works for us. Thanks for watching, subscribe to our video. Gosh, here he comes, here he comes, come on, yeah. see him? Stay pinned. Get in the boat, let's go. 
Oh my gosh. God, Thank dude. Change. Got him? Mm -hmm. How big to say he is? Old sniper Seth in the back was just absolutely laying game down. I'm like, this guy can't be stopped. Oh, got him. That's why you throw that dang head hook on that Depths 250. He headshot that thing. Oh my gosh, another one. <laughs> that, that, was, that was behind the gun. Got another one on it. That was behind the Look at that. Oh man. Huh? <laughs> Broke her head. <laughs> Come on, baby. Dude, there was a wolf pack off of I threw it out there and hit it twice. It said, ah! Here's a big one. Oh, oh, oh. There's two. He's gonna eat it. Got him. Get in the boat. Oh, God, yes. <laughs>